Good morning everyone, my name is Chloe. I have a channel here on YouTube where I review ethically made products and I take you with me on my journey to a more low waste and ethical lifestyle. This month I've been asked to try out a yoga mat made by Lucy and Yak. They're an ethical clothing company based in England. They make dungarees, trousers, jumpers, basically super comfortable clothing. I'm wearing a mini pee from them right now, but we are on their channel today, so you probably already knew that. Lucy and Yak's yoga mat is produced in India by a company called Arenda India that only use sustainable materials in their products. All of Lucy and Yak's products are made in India and Lucy and Chris spent a long time searching for a company that had the same values as they did. It took a while but eventually they found the perfect small ethical manufacturer and here we are now. So this of course is the yoga mat. I've been trying it out for a month now inside and outside so I can give you a good all round review. So let's get stuck in. Firstly, when this arrived, I swear the box could have just been empty. It is so light. This thing only weighs 370 grams. Plus it comes with this really simple strap, easy to use, really, really easy for travel. My previous yoga mat was really heavy. It didn't come with a strap. I had to lug it into every single class with me and so I am really really pleased with how light and how easy to transport this mat is. And this mat is so light because it's made from cork and if you've been on my blog before you are tired of hearing me talk about how much I love cork and that is because cork trees don't have to be cut down for them to be harvested. Cork trees mature around the age of 25 and they can live to be three hundred years old. Once it's mature every nine years you can strip the bark from the outside of the tree and that is what is used in cork products. Plus once that layer is harvested the tree actually starts to absorb more CO2 to help the bark to regenerate. So it actually helps to clean out our air which means it's in our environmental interest to be harvesting this layer of bark. This makes cork an awesome ethical material to work with and as an added bonus it's also really durable and water resistant so if you do get anything on the mat you can just wipe it off with a bit of water and it's all good. Let's get into the size of the mat. In terms of size the mat is 24 inches wide and 72 inches long. For anyone like me whose brain doesn't work in inches that is about 182 centimeters long. I am 5 foot 8 which is about 172 centimeters long which means this mat is longer than me and that is perfect for if you're doing stretching and yoga activities you want that extra room to move around. I've been using the mat mostly for yoga but I've also used it for doing some exercises and ab workouts and I've tried to try it inside and outside. I've found that yoga when you have a cat is pretty problematic and your practice will probably take double the amount of time that you thought it would. Aside from that it's perfect for inside use, I can't think of any reason why it would be bad. The only real difference with using it outside is because this mat is so light. If you aren't on the mat you could be in danger of the mat being blown away a bit but when you're on the mat and using it it stays put perfectly, I didn't ever have an issue there. The grass can make it look a bit lifted but that's pretty much it. The other really important thing for a yoga mat for me is how grippy it is and I am really really pleased with this. I haven't used it for hot yoga so I can't comment on that but I have used it with mountain climbing exercises, the ones where you're running with your hands on the mat and my hands stayed put, the mat stayed put so it worked perfectly there anytime I was doing a downward dog or any sort of move that relied on the mat staying still it stayed perfect so I'm really really pleased with how grippy it is. Plus it also feels really nice and smooth, I feel like it could look like it's not smooth because of the bits of cork but it feels really really nice. The design itself is really natural, of course I love the cork, but I also love how it's got chakra symbols going throughout and they are really colourful. I think it's going to be a hit with a lot of yogis out there and there are probably people that are quite angry with me using the mat upside down in a few of the videos. I'm sorry to anyone if that bothers you, hopefully my chakras are fine. It rolls up really easily and the straps are really easy to use like I said before. They're basic but they're all you need and I do love just how thick they are. The straps of course expand to whatever size you need them to be so you could use these with any mat and the fact that the straps are so wide means it's going to be really comfortable on your shoulder. This mat of course just feels like carrying a feather. It is so so lightweight. I cannot stress how good and light this mat is. It's ethically made, it's perfect for travel, it's got great grip. That's pretty much all I need in a yoga mat, so big thumbs up there. So guys, that is my review. I hope that you enjoyed watching my subpar yoga skills. If you are interested in the mat, then go ahead and check out the links below. If you want to see more from Lucy and Yak, be sure to subscribe to their channel. And if you enjoyed this video, then it would be great if you could give it a like. You can find more from me on YouTube by searching for Be Kind Coco, and be sure to check out my Instagram and blogs for more ethical reviews. Thank you for watching, guys, and I look forward to seeing you later. Bye.